Hi, let us discuss the solution of this problem. In this problem, you are given a number and your task is to find a palindromic number that has the closest difference, the absolute difference between them. Now, let us first learn what do we mean by palindrome. So palindrome is an integer or a string or any data type that reads the same as backward or from the front itself. Like if we have 1, 2 and 3 and we reverse this, that is 3, 2, 1, this is not equal to this. So 1, 2, 3 is not a palindrome. But suppose the number is 3, 1 and 3. So if we reverse this, okay, so that is 3, 1, 3 and both are equal. So this is the palindrome. Let's take an example of a palindromic string. So if we have A, B and A and if we reverse it, then it would be again A, B, A. So this is an example of a palindrome. So if we have A, B, B, then if we reverse it, this would be B, B, A, which is not equal. So this is not an example of palindrome itself. Okay. Now that we know what is palindrome, we are saying that given number n, okay, that has the absolute difference. So suppose the given number is 9. So 9, if we invert it, it would be 9 itself. So we know that the given number is a palindrome in itself. That is why the output would be 9. The absolute difference is 0. So even if we move 8, 7, 6 or even if we go above 9, then that difference would be greater. So if the current number is a palindrome, there is no point in moving backward or front. The current number would be the answer. We know from this point of time. Now if the number is 4, 8, 9. So 4, 8, 9. So if we go to 4, 8, 8, Okay, because 489 is not a palindrome. If we go to 487, if we go to 4, a 486, okay, we are going, we are going down. But if we are moving forward, this means that 4889, then 90, 491, then 492, and then 493, and then we have 494. So we can see that this is the palindrome where it has the less difference, okay, absolute less difference. Now, we can think of a way by seeing the examples that we can just iterate on the positive end and we can find the closest palindrome that would be the candidate 1. And we can go on the negative end and we can find the candidate 2. Whosoever between this has the minimum difference would be the winner, that is the answer of this. Now moving forward, we see that the constraints are 10 to the power 14 itself. So moving on the positive end and on the negative end would just be 2 multiplied by the range of the number that is 10 to the power 14. But in one second, we can only perform 10 to the power 8 operation. So this is not gonna work. Okay, constants are ignored. So that is why this is basically 10 to the power 14, which is much greater than 10 to the power 8. So we would definitely get a TLE even before the implementation. Okay. So we take this as a brute force solution which would fail in this time constraint. Okay. Now moving forward, we can think of something. If we take the second sample test case that is 489, we can see that the output was 4, 8 and 4. So we can see that the first half of this number is not changing. Okay. First half of the number remains the same. So we need to change some part of the number, not the whole number. So if some part of the number needs to be changed and we want the minimum difference, then we should change this side, that is right hand side. Why? Because if we change the right hand side, the difference after changing would be small in comparison to changing the, dif changing the numbers on the left hand side because this number has more significance okay than this okay fair enough we know that till this point okay we would again write the number 489 and then we can see that first we would try to build up this number okay and the next number would nothing see next number can be 484 or the possible candidate can be 4 7 and again 4 or the possible candidate can be 4, 6 and 4. So all these are the possible candidates. Okay, if we don't change the number 
of digits in the answer itself so if the number of digits in the solution is same as the number of digits given then these are the probable candidates so we can see that in the first place the middle number is not changing it remains the same and then we can see that the middle number is positive and on the negative side now if we go plus one and minus one and you can generate a palindromic number then moving moving farther away that is more negative and more positive is there is no point because even if we get a palindrome at that point we won't achieve it okay the smaller difference won't be achieved moving forward we can think like this that if we decrease this number and we build the palindrome because the answer would definitely be a palindrome and we build the palindrome this would be our answer so now this is the scenario when the number of digits is equal to the number of digits in the solution now let us discuss when the number of digits won't be same as the number of solution suppose this is 489 so if the number of digits is not same what can be the other solution so we can think that we need to increase the number of digits we need to decrease the number of digits after writing two to three answers we can see that 101 okay and 999 then 1 1 1 okay 1 1 and then 9 9 these are the smallest one candidates in comparison to the number of number of digits that is not safe okay so we can do that we can add that we can decrease that okay so we get the number of candidates like this we get three candidates here and three candidates three candidates four candidates at that side why because number of digits plus one and then we have this suppose this is four eight nine so what are the probable candidates if the number of digits is not seen so we have one oh one and one we have nine 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 and nine okay and then we have what we have again the number of digits less than one one and we have nine nine so these are the probable candidates four candidates here and three candidates there itself now before implementation we should first think about what is the time complexity of the solution the time complexity of the solution is basically we are just iterating on the string okay we are just iterating on the string we need to find the number of digits number of digits is the power of the digits by 10 so we can easily do that so if 10 14 operation at max would be performed because it is 10 to the power 40 now we are getting the number of digits getting the number of digits is just iterating on the number okay iterating on the number of digits again this is also again iterating on the number of digits so this is log 10 the number itself so we can definitely do that so let's sum up before we move to the implementation we first figured it out that moving on the whole number that is starting from the positive end to the negative der derivation is not possible because that is o of n operation and 10 to the power 14 operation is much greater than 10 to the power 8 so that would definitely get you and TLE. now we move forward we try to think of the eligible candidates then we think that yes the eligible candidates is much less why because the eligible candidates definitely would be a palindrome so now we narrow down our solution and we think what are the smallest palindrome that are near to the revolving around the number itself so we find out that we have the first half of the number and then the next half would be a palindrome of that so now the eligible candidates would be just by decreasing the last number or by increasing the last number or making it same three candidates now this is the scenario when the number of digits is same in the solution itself now let us discuss when the number of digits is not same so the probable digits would be definitely having a large deviation from the solution so we can see at the probable solutions if it is 101 that is 0000001 and 99999 so we can say that these two are the probable candidates and getting them is absolutely very easy now let us move to the implementation and see 
So let us have 4, 8, 9 and we would see how this is working. So first, we see that a number has one digit somehow. If it is having one digit, that means it is already a palindrome. Okay, so we would return that number. Okay, then we find the number of digits by dividing by 10. So 4, 8, 9. So 4, 8, 9. First, we get 1. 1. Then 48 because we divided by 10. Integer division won't have that. 48. Now again plus 1. This would remain 4. Again plus 1 and this would be 0. So till it is 0, we are counting the number of digits. So total number of digits is equal to 3. So now the total number of digits is equal to 3. And we would remove these all things. Okay. Fair enough. Number of digits is 3. And n1 is now equal to 0. Okay. So number of digits is not equal to 1. So we won't, this won't work. Now the probable candidates is the number of digits plus 1. Okay. So number of digits 10 to the power number of digits. 10 to the power 3 plus 1. 10 to the power 3 is nothing but this. And plus 1 would be 1, 0, 0, 1. And this would be 1, 0, 0 minus 9, 9, 9. This is 9, 9, 9. Okay. Then we have the number of digits plus 1 and minus. That is not. Now we go to digits plus 1 divided by 2. What do we mean by this? The number of digits is 3. Okay. The number of digits is 3. So, doing the integer division would make it 1. But we know that if the number of digits is 2, the first half would consist of this. So, what we want is the seal value. Okay, to get the seal value when divided by 2, we just add 1 to it. Okay. Now, 3 plus 1 divided by 2 would make it 2 itself. That is 4 by 2. So, now the mid is equals to 2. Fair enough. Then we have the prefix. Okay, then we have prefix the number divided by 10 to the power digits minus the mid value. So we have the front number that is 48 itself. Okay, then we have prefix the same 48 and then we have 47 and then we increase it. This is minus, this is minus 1, this is plus 1 and this is plus 0. Okay, then we iterate on the number and we generate, try to generate the postfix. How we are generating the postfix? First we have 48. Okay, we are having 48, then we are having this value. So if the digits divided by 2, that is 489, 489, the number of digits are odd, then we are popping the last digit. I would no tell you why. Because if we have 48 and we want to generate the next palindrome, it would be just 4. And if the number of digits were even, that is 1, 2, then it would be 2, 1. Okay? So basically, if the number of digits are odd, we just pop the last number. So we pop the last number and then we add it. Okay? By re after reversing. So there is only single character. So reversing, there is no point. So 4, 8, 4. But it would get reversed. So this would be 4, 8, 4 itself. And then we have the string itself. And then we push back to the candidates. So we pushed back. 4, 8, 4. Then we have 47. So 4, 7, 4 would be pushed here. 4, 7, 4. Then we have again 49. So this would be 49. Sorry for that. Plus 1 means 49. So 4, 9 and 4. All this would be pushed with these all numbers. Okay. Then what we do is we have the minimum difference with as much as possible. Then we have the rest itself. Now, if the absolute minimum difference is less than the minimum difference, we assign that value. So now, rest would be assigned with 484 with the minimum difference of whatever it is. Now, we would keep going back and at the end we would return. Okay. So I hope you have understood. Still, if you have not understood and you have some little doubts, you can just comment it here tagging me. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.